So let's look at how we're actually going to make a script to copy and paste from a template into the sheet you're going to use most often. So uh, this is a sheet we could use for progress monitoring special ed students. Um, this is the template. So every time that we make one for a student, we can duplicate this. I don't know why that always takes a while. It's only today. Usually it doesn't take that long. All right, so let's put a name in there. And what we would usually do is we would put the student's ID number in here. And these formulas will pull out all the information about that student. Now, I don't have that set up here, but we'd have the student name, have the grade, so on and so forth. And all of this would fill out automatically. <clears throat> now, what we want to do is put a reset button in here so that if I completely go in here and mess it up, I get error messages. I've deleted out these fancy formulas that have been written for me. Ooh, look at that one. That's a big formula. Let's just say we, boom, delete that one, delete that one. Now we want to get them back. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a button up here called reset. All right, so <clears throat> that button is already there because I've deleted the project, but it's not shown up yet. So if I was starting from scratch, I would go Tools, Script Editor, and I'm going to make a brand new project eventually. There it is. So here's my function. I'm going to highlight and delete all that out, and I'm going to go grab the code for that script. Now this should be in the description section of the video, and I'll explain how this works. So we can copy, go back, Right here is our tab for our new script. We paste that in, and we're going to call it Reset Button. All right, so this is broke up into three different parts. Uh, this is the name. So um, this function is going to work whenever it opens. It's going to go in, create a menu button called Reset. And there's going to be two items under that reset button, one for formulas only, one for entire page. And what when you click those buttons, one goes to the reset formulas function and runs it. The other one goes to the reset page function and runs it. So for reset page, once all this is copied and pasted in, if you need to change anything, you can change this right here. So the name of my tab that everything is copied from is called template. So you can change that tab name if your sheet has a different tab that you're going to copy from. And then I put the entire range. So if I go back to template, it starts at A1, it goes to AZ192. I'm going to tell it to copy all of that and paste it into this is the current sheet. So whatever sheet that you're in at the time, it'll copy in it in that same range. Now you can change it. If you've got one cell to go from one place to another, this will be the source. This will be the destination of the current sheet. Now this is to copy everything. Now I am only copying and pasting things in the header, only at the top part of the sheet. So I'm going to take A2. This is the just resetting the formulas. I'm taking only cells A2 through AK2. That is a2 to AK2. So everything here is going to get copied from the template sheet and it's going to get pushed over into this sheet. I do this span, this span, because my users for this input the ID number. So I don't want to override the ID number itself. So we override all this, override all this, over all this row. Then we overwrite all of that information. That's what this is here. So overwrite this row, this row, this row, this row. Put all of those ranges in. Um, so you can add more of these if you want to. But whenever we're done, we hit, when we change the ranges however we want, we hit save. Okay. We would you go back here and reload the page. And we should see our reset button show up. Come on, baby. Don't embarrass me. We're still working. We're still working. 
I'm going to show you how this button works on all these different tabs. Let's say I just go in this tab and start going crazy, typing gibberish here. All right. So, okay. Here's our reset button. Here's our tab that we want to overwrite things that were deleted out. We go reset, formulas only. The first time you run the script, you're going to have to authorize it. So we say continue. There's my school email. Allow. It's going to run. Okay, good. So it put all those formulas back in that we deleted. It did not override our ID number because our user inputs that ID number. If I click on this tab, see how all that was messed up? Whatever tab is currently clicked on at the bottom, it's going to reset just that. And there we go. And again, if I want to reset the whole thing, say the worst thing can happen, everything is deleted from the entire page. Hit reset, entire page. It's going to take every cell from this template tab and it's going to copy and paste it back over. The formulas, text, everything. That means if you have any data in here typed in, it's you're going to lose it because it's all getting overridden. It's a de factory default reset. Now, I have more formulas than what's just up in the header in this actual sheet. To try to make it simpler, I copied and deleted those out. Uh, but there are more formulas down here. So this is what the actual full script looks like for mine that I use. So I've got formulas in the header in goal one through five, uh, and all of those get copied and pasted back in whenever you hit the reset button. So this was kind of a crash course in it. I hope this helped you. Uh, again, the script is should be in the video description. If you have any questions or maybe you have a suggestions on how to make it simpler, I just take scripts and find them off the internet and adapt them to what I need. So if you have a simpler method for it, please let me know. I'm super interested to hear. But thank you. Hope this benefited you a little bit.